Okay, it's been two days since we received the package from Plated, and I just wanted to go through and show you how everything is set up. This is the crunchy pork melonaise with honey mustard and little gem. On the back, got all the instructions step by step on how to cook it. Tells you also, tells you right here exactly what they send you and what you'll need. Over here we've got what we need, two eggs, olive oil, kosher salt, and pepper. Most of them, most of the recipes don't require eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me, this particular one does. The crunchy pork melonade, you can see it's packaged with the name on it. I always use the bag for all the little containers that we cut up. It's right here. The grape tomatoes. Got some panko breadcrumbs. A little bit of flour. Let's see, a couple packages of mayonnaise. There we go, let's turn around the right way. Grey Poupon Dijon Mustard. <clears throat> a little bit more flour. And let's see, what's this, paprika? This is actually cayenne pepper. And we've got some apple cider vinegar right here. A little bit of honey. Oh, one more pack of Dijon Mustard. Now for the little gem lettuce. This is only two days old. Most of the vegetables that we get from them are in really good shape. Um, see this one here, there we go, little gem lettuce, one of them stuck to it, another one right here, and then over here we've got the pork, which I'll cut out, open the outside bag, and show you all three of these are labeled, it's really good that they're labeled because, uh, Actually, when I was taking this out, I was grabbing the chicken just by sight and realized this was a pork dish. It wasn't the chicken melonese, which I know Plated has as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this all down, get it set up and cook it, and then show you a few steps along the way as well as the final result. So hold on and you'll see that in a few moments. Okay, it's been about five minutes now since we went through and showed you everything in the packaging. And I went through and I cut everything out of the packaging. And as you can see, I've got the pork here and it's wrapped and ready to be beat down to a quarter inch with the mallet. We've got the bread crumbs, the flowers, the two eggs that we supplied. And then if you come over to the other part of the kitchen, normally I don't lay it at all out like this. I just do it as I go. But for the video's sake, I'm actually laying it all out. These are the tomatoes, which I actually washed right in the tin and then strained and cut in half. This is gonna be a honey mustard dressing. It's, um, let's say it's got mayonnaise, honey, cayenne pepper, the remaining Dijon mustard and a quarter teaspoon of salt. This right here is actually the dressing for the salad. And then over here is the lettuce, which we've halved and rinsed. All of the packaging from everything, I always just put right back in their bag so I can throw it in the garbage. Really comes handy on fish night or if we got scallops or calamari, uh, that way we can just take it right outside. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna get everything prepared and then move on to cooking it and hopefully show you a good final result. Okay, now take a look at the pork. Actually, uh, this one right here was a little bit thicker, so I kind of had to beat it like it stole something, but I didn't want to put you through that because it's, it's pretty loud. It, uh, beating it with the mallet on the countertop got a little bit loud, but now what I'm going to do is bread them and get them ready to go in the frying pan. Uh, the first thing, this is flour with a little bit of kosher salt, just a little tad bit of pepper on there. Shake off the excess. And you may have noticed I switched bowls. The other one was a little too small. The, the pork spread out a little bit further than I expected it. The chicken normally doesn't. And let it drain, let the excess drip off. And breadcrumbs on it. 
push them onto it. Make sure they stick. I always seem to send you enough of everything. And there's normally leftovers. And as you can tell, I like to eat, so I've never been left hungry with the portions. There has been a time or two when I've eaten some of my wife's portions, but that's number two. And number three, as you can see, it looks about a quarter inch thick. Close enough for government work. And by the way, just for anybody in the comments that wonders about me washing my hands after using the pork and everything, those are the scenes that uh, are cut out. But every time I handle pork or chicken or any of the proteins, I wash my hands with chicken sometimes excessively. It's actually a little annoying, but uh, I want to make sure I don't cross-contaminate the chicken and the rest of the food. It's also one of the reasons I have the different colored mats. The red mat, the only thing that I've ever used that for is meat. And then the blue mat and the green mat are used for the vegetables. And the cutting board is strictly for cutting anything except meat. But now, over here we've got the frying pan, which we're going to set this at medium. And it says two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. It's a 12 inch pan. It's also a pretty big heating surface. So I normally up it just a little bit. So I'm gonna let that warm up. As Soon as it warms up, I'm gonna show a little bit of frying them up and then we'll wrap this one up. Okay, now the olive oil has heated up in the pan. It's starting to shimmer. I don't know if you can catch that on the video, but uh, here crackling a little bit, must've been some water. And the instructions say to put these in for five to seven minutes per side, which this pan runs a little hot, so I'll be surprised if it takes that long. Let's see if I can get them all fit into the one pan. Put a little puzzle, there we go. And I'll set the timer at five minutes. Make sure the oil gets all over the pan. And I got it set on medium. Most of the recipes that I get sent have medium to medium high, uh, but with the pork it was medium. So Now, this is the lettuce, and as you can see, it's already been halved and cleaned, and I was in the process of cutting it into strips for the salad. I'll finish that off. Let's see, a little bit of that. It's getting too hard down there. There we go. Uh -oh. plenty. Be plenty for three people. And this was the dressing. With the olive oil and the vinegar. Mix that up. Take the lettuce and put that in there. Make a little bit of a mess here. Put that in. And we'll mix the tomatoes in. Anymore. If I had a long time to wait for till the, the pork was done, I probably wouldn't toss the salad quite as soon or get soggy, but <coughs> excuse me, based on the fact that I know it doesn't take long for quarter inch pork to cook, I'll get it tossed now. <coughs> I'll take a second, let's go check the pork. I don't have any issues. That one's in the slide. It doesn't seem to be sticking. And back to the honey mustard dressing. And this actually is just going to go on the side in a cup. So when you 
cut a piece of the pork. Get that all mixed up. And I actually added all the cayenne pepper, so it might be a little bit spicy. They do have helpful tips and hints on the recipe that if you don't like something spicy, you might not want to add it all into the recipe. So, but I don't mind spicy food, so i am got it all in there. Let's see, it's only been three minutes, but I just have to peek. Yeah, it looks like it's browning up pretty good, so I'm going for the flip now. I can say with getting the servings for three people, a 12 inch pan is a must have. I've tried this with some, some 10 inch pans before and there's just not enough room and you end up breaking the fish apart. Also, this little fry daddy makes all the difference in the world. And take a look at it, see how it's coming along. It's pretty good, doesn't it? All right, in just a few minutes, I'll show you the finished product with it all plated up and ready to eat. Okay, well, I just wanted to finish this up by saying my wife already pointed out to me that I went from the pork over to the, uh, the lettuce without washing my hands. And I guess I'll blame that on you because you need a video to see this. So, um, figuring out the, is that the dog? Dog didn't like that idea either. Anyway, this is the final right here the pork, the salad, and the honey mustard dressing. And of course you can drizzle the dressing all across the salad. So in comparison, it's been about 30 minutes. This was actually a pretty quick meal. And as you can see, I'm already all cleaned up. Luckily the person behind the camera also cleans the dishes. So make sure you subscribe and I'll make more of these meals and you can see how they're done. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day.